Hey y'all, it is a rough, rough, windy day today. That's all right, we're not gonna be outside long today. We're not. Uh, we got Miss Honey. Miss Honey's got a little situation. Cue the donkey. Miss Honey's got a, we got a little situation with Honey that we need to get taken care of. So we're gonna be inside in the barn area blocked from all this, all this crazy wind today. Well, hello everybody. Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. As you can see, I'm in the barn and we got a little issue, just a little one. So the other day when I was brushing Miss Honey, I noticed she had a little sore on both her front ankles, both her front ankles. And it didn't look like nothing major at all, y'all. It just looked like just a little sore there. So I started putting some triple antibiotic cream on it. We keep this stuff around. It, it, it's just a general all-purpose antibiotic cream for livestock. Or if they get a scrape, scratch, or whatever. So I started treating her with that for a few days and actually for about a week. And I noticed that it's not really getting any better at all. Come here, honey bunny. Come here, girl. You can kind of see it right there. I put some cream on it this morning, but um, she's got a little raw spot on her ankles. At first I thought it may have been Jesse. I thought Jesse may have been, you know, being ugly and come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. All right, I got her in here. That's what I wanted to do right there, y'all. All right, here you go. Here's your treat. Here's your treat. So at first I thought it may have been Jesse being rough with her. Um, Jesse's still the boss of her, even though Honey is bigger. So I've just been treating it with that antibiotic ointment, and I thought it would just clear up and go away, but it hasn't, it hasn't gone away. So I took some, took some pictures of it and sent it to uh, a friend of ours that is a uh, equine expert and some to Dr. D. And, uh oh girl, looks like it's m like a fungal infection. And from what we've been told and understand is, is it could come from anything. Just uh, stress, the internal parasites, anything. She could have scraped it on something. Uh, it's fairly common in equine. Uh, it could have been flies. It could be, anything could have caused it. We're thinking it may be the, uh, the internal parasites may have caused it. And so the, 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 the triple antibiotic cream that I'm using right here is really not going to cure it. So today, today we're going to try to see if we can start getting this Honey here fixed up, yeah. Hey, honey. But well, we ran over to our farm, farm store, feed store, and picked up some antibacterial or fungal, antifungal medicine. We're gonna get some shampoo that we're gonna clean it with, and then we're gonna put some um, cream on it. And I think we're gonna do that for, or we're gonna do that for about a week, and let's see if anything changes. If it doesn't get better, then Dr. D's gonna come over and double check and go from there. But we feel fairly confident this is gonna get it. We're gonna get you fixed up. Yeah, we're gonna get you fixed up. Uh, it could also be because of wet weather. Y'all know we've had a lot of rain this year. It could be, it could be anything, couldn't it, girl? That's right. But guess what? Today is a new day and we're gonna get you fixed up. We're going to get you fixed up. Yes, we are. But her hair's starting to look really good. I got a new comb. I have to go show it to you. I got the metal round one, the metal round curry comb, and I've been using it, and it's really doing a good job. I got somebody that's sending us another comb that's called a Groomy that I'm excited about. So when it gets here, we're going to see what it does too. It's supposed to be the Cadillac of combs if there is such a thing. <laughs> you sweetie, you sweetie. I wanna tell you what, since we gotta bathe, we're not gonna bathe their entire body. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna wash our ankles. And so 
what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna bring a mat in here so that it's not directly flat on the ground. Our water hose is just right there. And we're going to get you fixed up, my lady. Let me go get that mat. You hang tight right here. I tell you what, I'll give you another treat. Let's see here. I know that's what you want. There you go. I would highly recommend this if you guys do have livestock or animals on your uh, farm. Uh, you can get this anywhere. And again, it's like, it's kind of like livestock neosporin, I guess you could say. It, um, it's just nice to have around here. We're not sponsored by these guys or anything. I don't even know who makes it. I can't even say it. For now, I guess that's how you say it, but I would definitely put this in your medicine cabinet. Right, girl? That's right. All right, let's get you fixed up. Let's get you fixed up. We may bathe your whole body. You may want a whole bath. I doubt it, though. <laughs> I doubt it. And y'all, things happen on the farm. If you got animals, things are gonna happen. You just need to be on top of it. That's the main thing. Got to stay on top of it so it don't turn into something worse. This is what we got right here. Fungusol ointment and Fungusol shampoo right here. And y'all probably can hear the wind. It is terrible today. But we may even cut around it. We may even cut around it. I don't know if she's gonna like the sound of the razor or not. We'll see though. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the milk room. I'm gonna place this right. Y'all look at Brooks. Curtain she put around the around the counters in here. Don't that look good? I think it looks fabulous. I really do. I think she did an excellent job with that. Absolutely fabulous. So I got a little mat in here. I'm gonna grab it right here. I think this is plenty big for her to stand on. We don't want her standing in that, well, it's not mud, it's just dirt. I just think this will be better. These things are awkward as the devil. Hey girl, it's okay. It's okay, it's just me. I didn't mean to scare you. Look, we're gonna set this out here, okay? Let's set this out here somewhere. Right here would be really good. Yeah, let's empty that water. Let's get this water over here. Now. Now, there we go. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. If it don't, it don't, okay? If it don't, it don't. So I'm waiting on Brooke to come and help. She was finishing up homeschooling. And this is our new comb right here. And this is, I like this one too. And Honey absolutely loves them. Yeah, yeah. Don't you, girl? Feels good, don't it, baby? Yeah. Feels good. I hear mama pulling up. Yeah, I hear mama pulling up. I do. And, you know, I don't see her biting at it. I don't see her holding her legs up. I don't see her messing with it or anything at all. She doesn't mind me touching it when I put the cream on there, so... I'm really confident this is gonna get it. But again, if not, we're just gonna monitor it. And then if not, we'll just have to get Dr. D over here or physically take her to the vet. But I think we are gonna get her cleared up. Oh, don't you look pretty. Don't she look pretty? Even Mildred agrees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we decided we're gonna to try to shave it and see how that goes. She may or may not like it, but we'll see. We'll see. If she don't like it, then we won't do it. All right, you think she'll let us shave her? I don't know. What'd you do with my gloves? I got them in my pocket. Let me go grab some more treats. Come here, honey. Come here. Come on, baby. Come on. Mildred. Let's see if we can get some of this hair off. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put it on low and see what okay. happens. She's 
she don't act like she's any kind of pain or anything. No, she. I don't think she is, but I also want to get this nipped in the bud before yeah. it gets any worse. Good job, honey bunny. All right, I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. Mildred says she wants to be next. Mildred, you want to shave you? She wants to be a show cow. That's always been her... Her dream? Yes. Her goal to be a show cow? I'm going to come around you. Good girl, honey. She is a good girl. All right. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. We're going to get she, you fixed up. I mean, up. if she was in pain, she would be flinching oh, right yeah, now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And she doesn't even move. And probably most people wouldn't even notice this. Well, you know, I just brush her quite often. and Yeah. I don't want to tell anybody a tale and say I brush her every single day, but five days out of the week. We're just going to do the best we can. That's right. And after it gets cleaned up, I may try to cut it again um, in a day or two. Yeah. If it needs it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. But I think the medicine is going to go on very easily with their hair cut just this little bit. As y'all can see, she wasn't getting on the mat. <laughs> so mm. so we, we're just going to come to honey. <laughs> yeah. So much for trying to keep everything tidy, oh, right? Oh, goodness. You did very good. All, All right, right, so you want me to get the water hose? Yeah. I guess we can get a bucket just in case we need it. And where's the medicine? I got it in the counter in there. I'm going to get the water hose and turn it on. Allow lather to stay on animal for at least 20 minutes before okay. rinsing. Okay. okay. Rinse animal thoroughly with clean water. All right, well, we got some rags in there. We'll fill a bucket up with water and dampen it and then uh, do, do like it says. And I'll get the water hose right here. Just hang it over. Might have to brush it for 20 minutes, but that's okay. <laughs> Keep her occupied. <laughs> Good girl, honey. Let me wet you a couple more. Yeah. You still know what time it is? I'll set it. When I get through, I'll ask S to set us a timer. Okay. It says let it lather. I'm going to put a little bit more on it. Okay. Let me see if I can get her to step away from the fence. Come this way, girl. Come on this way. There you go. Good job, honey. Honey says she's gonna beat Mildred in the ring <laughs> for our show class. Mm. Isn't it right, girl? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're doing so good, girl. Yeah. Oh, that's lathering nicely. Think See I need it? the other one? Yeah. Okay. It might sting a little bit. It might, I don't know. She's, um, I mean, she's being good, though. Well, she is. I'm glad we got the barn blocking the wind off. Well, I had to put this big jacket on. I didn't really need this, but it's yeah. all I had. You're doing so good, honey. Yeah, you're doing so good. All right, honey, just one second. We're almost done Let's with the shampoo. Get enough on you. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Good. There we go. Good girl. And now that it's her hair's wiped and everything, yeah. you can really see it. Whereas you couldn't hardly see it before. Yeah, that medicine was on it too. Alright, I'm not gonna <sighs> rub it till it's Alright. Now I'm about to set a twenty minute timer and we're gonna wait twenty minutes. Yeah, we might have to get the brush back out so we won't be bored. Hey Siri, set a 20 minute timer. 20 minutes counting down. 20 minutes counting down. And she's not mad at us. No, she's not mad at us. Let me brush you some more. Hmm.
All right, it's been 20 minutes, y'all. We're gonna try to rinse her legs. She's starting to get a little impatient. She's wanting to go out there with a herd. And I understand that. Yeah. I understand. Hang on, I'm gonna help you. You sure are a good girl. Yeah, you a good girl. Yeah. It's she loves okay. some lovings, don't you? She does. Hey, we'd be in trouble if she didn't. Oh, uh, we'd have we'd to. We'd be in trouble if she wasn't an easy going. We'd have to have the head shoot <laughs> or tie her up. Okay. Yeah. Good girl. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm dry it off. All right, let's get in an area where it's not wet. Come okay. here, girl. Come here, girl. I got her food over here. That may lead her over here. Honey, it looks like you got some boots on or something. It does. Good choice, too. Mildred says, that is my stall, <laughs> and that is where I eat. Mildred's upset. It's okay, Mildred. We'll be done in just a minute. You just farting it, aren't you, girl? This might do it in one treatment, and we might not even have to come back. That's right. Honey, just close your eyes and imagine you're at the beach. <laughs> with this right. wind like it is. Good day to fly a kite. I think a kite would get tangled. Go all which away, wouldn't it, girl? It smell? Yeah, it smells like menthol. It said it had tea tree oil in it. That's what I smell. That is exactly what I smell. All right, honey, we got you. Now, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> One more bite, mama. One more bite. <laughs> One more bite. I say the same thing, honey. Mm. I'm just going to have one more bite. We need to get him a bill of hay. Yeah, I was just thinking that. You think we just leave her locked up in here? Well, she's not going to get in the way. Okay. It's the other ones we have to worry I about. Guess you're right. You were so awesome today. Yeah, you were. Awesome. So what we're going to do is, per the directions, are twice a day of the cream and twice a week on the shampoo. We're going to do it for about five to six days. We, stu we should start seeing it clear up. If, um, if for some reason we don't see any changes whatsoever, definitely going to get the vet involved. This should, this should knock it out for us. All right, got them all up. Well, that let the honey out, but everybody else is up, so we should be able to get the hay in here with no problem, Mildred. Don't need you running down the road. So Brooke is coming to get this last bell of hay we got. We're going to have to go get some more this week. But uh, I want to show y'all back here in the back behind the barn at all of the gorgeous, gorgeous native wildflowers back here. Just look at this. We got, we got yellow clover. We got white clover. We got toad flax right here. We got Cal, uh, Carolina geranium right here. We got verbena. We got some crimson clover coming up right here. I'm not for sure what that is, but I love coming out here and just seeing the beautiful native wildflowers here in our area. Some I don't even know the names of. Just absolutely gorgeous. And if the wind wasn't blowing so hard, I feel like we'd see a lot of bees back here for sure. Tighten it. I think it came loose. Okay. You you want me to tighten it? All right, Brooke's loading that up. I'm gonna go open the gate up for. Her. Hey, Mildred, can I get by you? Hmm. Can I slip by you? You mind? Good girl. Thanks, Mildred. I appreciate that. You stay there. You stay there. You stay there. We're gonna get you some hay.
Ready. Go and get you some of that. Hey, mama's gonna clean up the pasture real quick. Yeah. She's gonna clean it up real quick. She'll be through. She'll be through in just a minute there, honey. It won't take her long. We just like to run the rake through here while everybody's put up. Yeah, mom's gotta clean the pasture up, Hollywood. Yeah, mama's gotta clean the pasture up. That's right. That wind's pretty tough today, ain't it, girl? Tough? Woo! I about need me a little jacket. I'm getting close, you know it? I bet you let me borrow your winter coat, wouldn't you? Yeah, I bet you would. We're gonna get you. I think she already feels better, y'all. I really do. May sound crazy, but I do. y'all time to come out now come on come on Mildred go get you some hay girl you didn't know it's gonna be hay day did you all right goats y'all come on out honey's been wanting Miss Jesse to come out come on Jesse come on Jesse for those that are wondering Jesse's perfectly fine she's okay but we will keep an extra eye out on her. Keep an eye out on her many ways, but we'll keep an extra eye out on Jessie and watch her and see if she still shows any signs. Um, but from what I read, it probably will just stay contained to honey. But we'll, we'll keep an eye out on Aunt Jessie. We will sanitize. We'll clean the brushes off. We'll get those uh, sanitized and sterile again before we use them on any of the other animals. But... I think your buddy Honey's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I do. Bro, go get you some hay with the gang. They're all over there. Glorious hay day. <laughs> Toppy, bro, go get you some hay, brother. Hey, Biscuit. Biscuit, I know Mama told me not to worry about cleaning the milk room floor, but I made a mess in here, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna clean it up. I just can't. I'm gonna clean it up, girl. What you think, Biscuit? I think I got it pretty good now. Yeah, I got it pretty good now. That's right. You hear that wind? You hear that wind? It's been terrible today. It has been a rough one. I see that you all inside, you know, you don't feel it, but it's been it's been a rough one today. But hey, keep an extra eye out on honey. Uh, she should be cleared up in a few days. I know how you don't like to pay sick leave and all, but well, we're gonna get her fixed up and get her get her back to work, okay? All right. Well, you have a good rest of the day. Stay in here where it is wind free. And I like your bed. Look at that. That's a, that's a nice one today. <laughs> oh, that's a nice bed today, girl.